and then you got burnt Twinkie Doogies at the bottom. He needs some milk. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. You won't escape my What up, cool nerds? Welcome back to number two of part seven of Thanksgiving Struggle Meals. Now, I've got a lot of submissions, and I'm sorry if y'all didn't make the cut. I've gotten a lot of submissions, and one more thing, if y'all have sent me stuff through like Instagram or like Twitter DMs, don't DM me because I be getting so many requests and 99% of those requests are like cash app scams. And I don't be checking those requests just because of that reason. So if you do have Twitter, mention me with the picture and I'll, you know, I'll retweet it or I'll like it, like letting you know that I'm going to use that or email me because all this stuff that people be sending me is just like scam, like scam likely stuff. So once again, if you didn't make the cut, save that for next year, or you can email it to me now or mention it to me on Twitter and I'll save it in my folder for next year as well. And uh, also, if you guys know, I told you guys I wasn't going to be doing a video on that self-defense dude uh -uh, forget that we're gonna do a video on him if it gets demonetized for like gun usage like violence or whatever that's just is what it is you know what i mean but we, we got to talk about this dude we got way too much to talk about but i'm not gonna waste any more of your time we got to jump right into part two so you already know what to do smack that like button shut the notifications on let's get it Nothing better than steak and eggs, yummy. I mean, I see Lego my egos that are just as well done as that steak, I guess. And then I don't see no type of eggs. I just see dookie at the bottom. Like I can't tell if the waffles are straight up burnt or something was glazed on top of it, then it was burnt with that on it. And what's the point of cremating your food? I remember working in the restaurant industry and black folks all the time would just come in and get well done steaks, extra well done, make sure it's burnt. What's the point? You want ashes to ashes, dust to dust? If you want to incinerate your food, be my guest. But you can go to Burlington Co. Factory and get like one of those faux leather jackets, put some seasoning on it, and then get the same effect. I just assume if you can eat your steaks like this, you can eat Popeye's biscuits, like just 12 of them in a row with no water. And it's the fact that this plate or like cutting board gets continually worse. You got the Lego My Egos that are burnt to like oblivion. You got that steak, which I think it's a steak that looked like, I don't know, bison these and then you got burnt twinkie doogies at the bottom he needs some milk y'all got these hellfire steaks on this chattacoochee board oh, shh. couldn't be me oh, and i know a lot of y'all don't like the way i say that like everybody was telling me the phonetic way of how to pronounce it bro i'm gonna say chattacoochee boards for the rest of my life okay what the hell did you just say y'all the i'm telling y'all these videos be taking me so long to record because half the time i just don't know what i'm looking at like what is this it's drumsticks, obviously, and then is that dressing? I can't tell because the picture's kind of like bad quality, but like then it looks like it could be in a bed of rice. What, what's, what's going on here? I feel like this would look decent if it was separated, and that's like a strong level 100 wishful thinking on my part, but like together, this just looks like the chicken was struggling in quicksand and just died. Artex, you're sinking! This chicken should be on Get Out because it's literally in the sunken place. And now I'm thinking to myself, like, when you serve this to a, a group of people or just somebody, like, how do, how do you serve this? You know, you just like, you want to, what if you just want a drumstick? You just, you just get tongs? Like, what do you do here? <laughs> to me, this just looks like light skin concrete. Like, you know, when it's all fresh and stuff and you could put your name in it or like walk in and you get the steps, like the footprints. And the chicken was walking through it and it was a wrap for it. All right, y'all, so this one's not really out of the ordinary. I guess it is if you like your pies extra crispy, just like you like your steaks well done. But that's beside the point. It's It happens all the time. People leave their pies or baking stuff in the oven too long. You know, they forget to set the timer, blah, blah. It's happened to all of us. Hopefully your house didn't burn down. But anyways, there's this lady on Facebook who this happened to her pumpkin pies. And she got a pumpkin pie from Marie Callender's. And she blamed her outcome on Marie Callender. She said, thanks Marie Callender for ruining Thanksgiving dessert. And it's just like, it's not like Marie Callender like forced you to like hold the pie in there while you were baking it yourself. She making it seem like Marie Callender held a gun to her head and was like, send this pie to the shadow realm. Put it in! It's one thing to get like a pizza delivered to you and it comes burnt, right? But then it's another thing to like call up DiGiorno's after you put it in the oven, didn't follow the instructions and it's cremated. Like how you bake the pie and then call them up for your mistake. And these be the type of people that go to restaurants or like just the retail industry workers and just hassle people all the time and they be dead ass wrong like come on your name's not sharon it's karen all right so i'm a big fan of deviled eggs and i'm looking at this like are these deviled eggs 
or just the devil. <laughs> One of the things too with me is like, it's a big thing with food when it comes to the presentation. You know, like this could taste good, but the aesthetic of it makes it look like hot garbage. Like they weren't even trying. What is that even on there? You, you got the pepper, I believe that's what it is. Uh, mustard and maybe mayo, I don't know. Like this just don't look like it's gonna end well. Someone asked me what I use to marinate my turkey. I told them I use the marinating drawer in the fridge. Why, what do you use? The marinating drawer? First of all, I don't think that's the question they were asking. I think they were asking like, what do they like, I guess brine it, the turkey in, but the marinating drawer, I'm pretty much like a thousand percent sure that's not what that's called. There's things we need to stop as a whole that I've learned from struggle meals, like that we just gotta stop doing for real. We, we gotta stop cooking food in the sink and we gotta stop putting like food in the fridge at the bottom drawers like this. And then I had the question of like, why is this fridge so empty? You you got just this turkey and these roach parsley flakes on top? Y'all ever just look at something? I, it could be a picture, it could be a person, you just like, and you judge them. I, I, like, it's not like you say it to their face, but like, in your head be like, I just know they stank, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this picture. Like, I just know their fridge stank. Like there, there's no other way around it. This fridge smells like dying turkey. If I open up your fridge and your turkey's in the deep end at the pool, your whole lineage is done. It, it's a wrap for your whole family. That stank, down it? Ugh. Recipe said two eggs, but that didn't seem like enough to cover the whole cake. So I improvised. What? It don't look like cake no more. It's just like sunny side up, like thick. <laughs> eggs like what is happening and what is on top of these eggs they look like shaved pubes bro no absolutely not i don't know what this is but this is all you can do at this point you know like you probably don't have the right utensils or or, or like uh paper towels or whatever to clean this up and it's just like all you can do is just sit back and take a picture of this atrocity that just happened in your car and it doesn't look like your car was in the best shape anyway so like oh well but like, your car is done for. Ah! No! Like no matter how much you clean this up, you are gonna find the little pieces of this little soup or whatever for the rest of your lifetime with this car. As much as a germaphobe I am, I be trying to save food as much as I can because you you went through all this to order food or cook it. And it's just like, you can't let the, all of this go to waste. Maybe you won't eat like the bottom half, but the top, hey, the top is good. You just get a little spoon. Just, I actually, I just um bought some apples the other day from uh, Walmart. It was like pre-sliced apples, like a big thing, right? And I forgot, I didn't put on the shelf all the way and the apples just fell on the floor. And I had apples for like miles on my floor. And I'm just like, you know what? Let's just wash these bad boys off. Simply delicious. All right, I, I know a lot of people are against pineapple on pizza. I love it. Like you, we can fight to the death. I don't care. I'm gonna stand my ground. But like the whole Pokedex of fruit, on pizza? No. And y'all ever order pizza with someone who doesn't like a certain topping or something? Like, you know, you get like half pepperoni and they're like, oh, I want the other half just cheese. Like, you know, that's cool. I get that, you know, but like, you, you want a fruit cocktail on your pizza? Like, hey, let me get one half uh, strawberries, another quarter bananas. The, like, no, get, get this fruit salad pizza up out of my face. My daughter's Thanksgiving pie. <laughs> Y'all, if I would have opened the oven and saw this, I would have punched this square in his face. Bro, this is absolutely frightening. Just the teeth and the eyes. This looks like some Ed Gain, like, like morbid, like, victim. Like, bro, what is this? Y'all don't know who Ed Gain is. That's the dude who's actually based off of uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And it happened in Wisconsin, not Texas. But, bro, this is frightening. Absolutely not. The mouth is, nah, dude. I would have set this whole house on fire. What y'all think about this red velvet potato pie? You know, I like red velvet and I like uh, sweet potato pie. I don't know how I feel about them together, but I'm gonna try it. I don't, I don't know if this is a struggle. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but I'm gonna still try it. You know, we, we this this looks like the, uh, the most appetizing thing we've seen on this series like this year. <laughs> see i didn't think people really did that like there's no <laughs> and the fact that they put the sun in charge to uh marinate the turkey no that's disgusting to me bro
<laughs> like, I feel like it shouldn't be that disgusting, but it is to me. I don't know why. Just something about you marinating food in the bottom of the fridge is nasty to me, bro. And probably the biggest reason I feel that way is because I feel like a lot of people just don't be cleaning out their fridges. They might do like a little wipe down here and there, but people don't be deep cleaning their fridges. And I guarantee you this dude did not take out that drawer and then, you know, power wash it down and then put that turkey back in with all that juice. So in reality, he's really marinating that turkey in like grape stems, other fruit leaves, dookie crumbs and whatever else is in there. Mama, what the hell is this? Nothing. What, what's this? Don't do that. Don't, Don't do, do that. that. <laughs> you did that, what is that? I ain't no fix no dresses before. That's my first time fixing dresses. <laughs> Man, this better go on the <laughs> <laughs> Said this finna go in the trash. Okay, so that was dressing. Maybe that first one was dressing too, because it looked just like that. But she had she had uh chicken legs and chicken wings in there or something. But no, what is that, bro? She said I don't know what she said. She said it was something, but that that looks us. I wouldn't want that either. I would toss that in the trash. Come on, bro. So I looked at the video again, and what she said was that's her first time fixing dressing. So it's her first time making it, and <laughs> we can definitely tell. Something about this just seemed wrong. Like the quicksand chicken dressing, it, that just got to stop. We need to stop that trend immediately. My mother-in-law just called to say I'm not allowed to cook for Thanksgiving. She says her son deserves a better cook. I just want her to give me another chance, so I decided to add more seasonings to the turkey to hopefully change her mind. Yo. No. Okay. Y'all, and I might have to mute this music too. What is happening? Y'all, this lady's getting her own series, bro. Enough with the map. What? <laughs> Wait, that turkey was raw. That this, was that an orange? Am I tripping? I, I just I can't even like fathom what I just saw right now. I can't tell if it was an orange or a lemon. I'm just like so many things are going on in my mind right now. What just happened? Wh what, bro, bro? That turkey was so raw. <laughs> I'm over here talking about y'all. I'm about to replace the music, and then she just doing one thing after another. Stop. We got to stop this lady, y'all. Send, if y'all see her on TikTok, whatever, y'all gotta send me her clips, bro. She gotta be stopped. She might be worse than uh, Macaroni Lady. Macaroni Lady looked like, you know, a novice compared to her. If your macaroni and cheese ain't looking like this for Thanksgiving, what is you doing? Wait. What? How is that macaroni and cheese? Hold on, let me just. What? What? Where's the cheese? Where's the mac? Where's the noodle? What is this? This this looks like seasoned cat litter. I gotta watch this again. There's no way this is mac and cheese. Hold on, here we go. If your macaroni and cheese ain't looking like this for Thanksgiving, what is you doing? What am I doing? I'm, I'm not eating that. That's what I'm doing. What? No. There's nothing about this that's mac and cheese, bro. I, I'm no. I'm going to say, y'all. <laughs> what is this? And I know, you know, I saw some people talk about some other people's mac and cheese online and stuff. And, I, you know, different cultures do different stuff. But this is not mac and cheese. At all. This is... I don't know. A struggle meal for sure. But it's not mac and cheese. Y'all, I just watched this like 10 times off camera. And I... 
cannot tell you what this is, but it's not macaroni and cheese. It looked like cornflakes if you left it in like milk too long and just kept blending it up. And then after you blend it up, you blend it up some more. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pass on the turkey this year because what the f is this? This should look like I'm cutting wood, boy. Just listen. Y'all. <laughs> I know turkey's dry. I just, I know it's dry, but come on, bro. You, you, this turkey is powder. This turkey is just straight up powder, like baby powder. And the thing is, if you cook turkey right, it's not always gonna be dry. Like obviously like some gravy and like other things will help it and stuff like that. But this right here, this is the light you took this turkey to wood shop. Y'all know those movies or those animes or just like any type of show where it's kind of like some sort of like magic or something going on where they have that one like witch or like ninja class or something where that person like takes a powder and goes and then all of a sudden the, the person gets all dizzy and like, you know, <laughs> that's what this turkey looks like. Like, come on, bro. This <laughs> Y'all wrong for this. Or y'all know those movies where the person is getting in a fight with like another person and like they're get, they're at a disadvantage. They're getting punched on the ground, right? But like, instead of like, you know, fighting back, they see some dirt on the side and they grab that. That's what you could do with this turkey and just throw it in their eye. All right, y'all. So for the last one, we've had on our struggle meals before and our Thanksgiving struggle meals at that. And I thought this whole thing was a troll, but I guess it's real. And there's also a name for it. I don't know if it's an official name, but we got a few and it's called like Cthulhu turkey, uh, Turkapus. What the f uh, I don't know, but there's multiple pictures of these, so you already know we gotta do a slideshow. Just, just watch this, y'all. The first one genuinely upsets me. You, you got these flame looking like red lobster biscuits, then you got this alien in the middle, and then you got the cranberry sauce that y'all didn't even attempt to cut up. And then look at this next one. Like, come on, bro. Like, why is this a thing? Who thought this was a good idea? Like, is it like a funny tradition? Who does this? If y'all do this, let me know wh why y'all do it. And it, is it good? Cause it, now you get the crab or lobster legs or whatever. Like, bro, couldn't it be me. Every time we get to a new picture, it's like an evolved form of the last Pokemon that we just saw. Like we had the, the original Turkopus and then we had the next one with crab legs. Now we got the one with crab legs and bacon wraps. Like what? It, it's just It's just constantly getting worse. And I'm just looking at these. Let, let's say the turkey is the main dish. None of this food or the turkey looks good. Like, is that that turkey done? Because they don't look seasoned at all. You now you got the googly eyes on it. Like, ooh, funny. It's going to be funny when you catch this fist in your face. <laughs> and, then, and then they'd be trying to, like, doll it up and make it all like, like it's a comedy special. Like, come on, bro. You want Kings of Comedy or you want these hands? Like, this, this is not funny. I'm so mad I still got my headphones on from like I'm listening to TikTok videos. Like, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm so mad right now. Like, I got like 10 more of these pictures. They all just making me angry. Like, what is this, bro? What type of Thanksgiving y'all be doing? Like, in the googly eye. Oh, that's hilarious. Like, no. Oh, let's... look, look. We see who's holding that one. Oh, man, bro. Like, come on, you like, imagine this, replace spiders. I, I'm, I'm off myself with the quickness, bro. Like, no, don't bring this to Thanksgiving ever. Y'all do Thanksgiving like this, count me out, uninvite me. You know, unfriend me, you know, I'll follow, I'll follow someone else, I do not care. I'll disown my whole family, they start doing this type of stuff. <laughs> I'm out, y'all, I'm done with this. Are all nerds as good as you?